got that stuck up there in the tree. Okay, it's falling down now. Well, big hello everybody. Today, Yana and I have just come over to our local woods and we're going to find... Some wood to make a bow and arrow. Yes, yep. We're going to give it a go of making a bow and arrow. Just a primitive one, nothing too flashy. No. So we're going to look for a piece of hardwood which has got some flexibility in it. And we're going to give it a go. Our first ever attempt... Making a bow and arrow. Making a bow and arrow. I've made one before. You've made one before? Uh-huh. When did you make a bow and arrow? Oh, I made a bow and arrow in my old school in White Court. You do? No, oh. not this one, but like Parkwood. Oh, right. That's pretty cool. So I've already made a bow and arrow in Parkwood. Yeah. That was ages ago. Is that? Do you remember Parkwood? Yeah, I remember Parkwood, yeah. So I made a bow and arrow there. Oh, right, very cool. So I know what I'm doing. So you might have to set it up on the web. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I heard you say that. <laughs> I have made one. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. Huh? I believe you. Do you? Okay, Yana and I are just looking for a suitable piece of wood for our bow. We don't want anything too big, just something Small. that we can craft into, into a bow. An arrow. This might be very really good. Oh, no, no that's, that's, far, that's far too thin, that is. How about this bit? No. Too thin, darling. Yep, too thin. You do the like bed land down now. Oh well, we have to keep looking, I think. Huh? We have to keep looking for something, don't we? For a piece of wood that's suitable. Yeah, my socks fell down. Your socks fell down. And they're long. Yeah. Doesn't mm. matter. No. Yeah. Not. It's not rubbing. Let's go down here. Yeah, we'll have it down here. See what we can find. This piece. I, I, this piece looks quite good. This piece looks quite good. No, it's far too Okay, small. we found a piece of wood which I think might be suitable and... I am going to saw it! Yana wants to do the sawing, so give it your best shot, Wait, Yana. Go on then. Is it here? Yeah, take it from there. <laughs> You're getting on. <laughs> You're getting there! Oh my god! He broke this. He broke it. Look, he broke it. It's broken now. Oh, snapped. Mm. All right. Okay. Well, we got a piece of wood. Although we lost our saw because it snapped. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna give that a go and see if that works. So we'll give it a go when we get home. See if we can turn it into. First of a bow. Okay, Yana and I have found the piece of wood we're going to use to give it a go of making our very first of a longbow. This long piece bow. of wood's quite solid, but I'm hoping it's still going to be quite flexible. Uh, we're just going to give it a clean up now, so it's it's relatively good size. So we just want to take off all of this bark. So I'm just going to use a knife. Just to remove the top layer, like so we get this nice smooth layer underneath. Yeah, that's it. So I think the process of cleaning the wood's going to be the, the longest bit. This bark comes off really nice and smoothly. Of course, going back into prehistory, these bows would have been made with just simple flint tools. 
so we're quite fortunate that we've got better equipment to make these now. And we might see if we can make arrows. Yeah, we're going to make the arrows afterwards, John, after we've made the um, bow first. Ow! Oh no, look! Oh, I've cut myself! Well, well, that's actually the second time I've cut my hand. <laughs> Or my fingers in the last two days. <laughs> Yesterday I was washing up and I cut my hand on a piece of glass <laughs> and now I've just sliced through it with a pretty sharp knife. I think I've learnt my lesson now. I think I'll cut away from my hand rather than towards it. Yeah. And I also um, hit the edge of the sofa yesterday. Yeah, you caught your toe, didn't you? Yep. That hurts. Yeah. Good idea for going away. Okay, so I've done the very first bit of making this longbow. I've removed all of the bark. It still needs a, a lot of cleaning up. And I just need to start removing the bark from along here until we get good tension and good flexibility in the bow. I can actually say this is the very first time I've ever made a longbow before. We're using whatever we have around the house to create the item. I'm not a carpenter. Never made anything like this before, but we're going to give it our best shot, aren't we, Anna? Yes. Yeah. And, and, and see how we do. So gonna start the next bit in a second and start bringing the chipping away at some of this wood hey look what I can do so we can get some good flexibility in the bow Yana's having a little play with it right now yep she's already getting excited yeah so I'm just trying to get nice and as uniform as we can with the tools we've got Made that nice and as smooth as we can. So it's not all lumpy and bumpy. As you can see, it's a bit hard to get through all the lumpy bumps on this. But. Go. Yana and I have finished our medieval longbow and we are just heading out to some open fields to try out the bow. In truth, our bow is a little crude. And there it is just there. It's the first we've ever made. And we pretty much use basic tools to make it. Things we already had around the home. The only thing we bought was the longbow string. A longbow is a type of bow that is tall, roughly equal to the height of the user, allowing the archer a fairly long draw. A longbow is not significantly recurved, its limbs are relatively narrow, so that they are circular in D-shaped in cross-section. A typical medieval longbow it's usually about six foot in length. Ours is a little shorter, it's five feet. So equal to Yana's height, which will make it far easier for her to practise with. Well done. Jesus, this is She did it. That. And it went quite far hey too. Guys, you watch me Let's get see that. how far this arrow's gone. Well done, Yana, you did it. See, there we go, a few tries. I 
never forget out how to do it. If you put it on one side and you put your fingers really close to it and you put it back and it just shows really fast. Yeah, well done. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Historically, the yew tree is a favourable wood sourced in creating the bow. We have made ours from a branch of a young oak tree, which can also be used. Other common and perhaps cheaper alternatives for wood include elm, oak, hickory, ash, hazel and maple. We sourced our wood from a local woodland and used just one single branch. I wanted the experience for both Yana and I to be as authentic as possible, as the English longbow has long been a part of our English heritage. Now I'm not a carpenter and I've never made a bow in my life, but I love medieval history and I've always found the historical use of the bow fascinating. We also have a family connection to archery. Our 13th great uncles from the parish of Wanash, Surrey, are recorded in Tudor muster rolls during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. Lawrence Street, born in 1543, was an archer of the second sort. And his brother, John Street, born 1549, was an archer selected. And lastly, our 12th great-grandfather, Ralph Bax of Wanash, born 1547, was also an archer selected. Go! Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go, go and find that arrow, yeah? Yeah. Come on, let's go and find all the arrows! Here's the first one. That wasn't that far. Okay, there's, here's one over here, guys. Here's this one. And here's the other one in the ground. Can't believe you got this one! Wow! He aimed for that good! Look at that! Yeah, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Wow! These muster rolls were extremely important as during the reign of Elizabeth I, England was at war with Spain. Our ancestors of Wanush and many more in the county of Surrey may have crafted their own self bows and took up arms against the Spanish Armada. In the Middle Ages, the English were famous for their powerful longbows used en masse to great effect against the French in the Hundred Years' War, with notable successes at the battles of Crecy, Poitiers, and the most famous of all, the Battle of Ashencourt. Of course, we are not going to war, but I have helped Yana a little. I've helped Yana learn a little about the English longbow's use in history and the crafting of his bows. We haven't made any arrows for our longbow as we have no intention of creating a dangerous weapon. So we are using blunt bamboo sticks to practice with. So here goes, let's test out this longbow yarner and see how far our bamboo arrows reach. You ready? I'm ready. Got cool. my bamboo in my hand. Got a bit about, oh, she's got her arrow. I've got the bow, let's go. Oh, that was pretty good. Got one st sticking right in the ground. So we're gonna check that out now.
Wow. Oh my god! I'm How far did that go? Come on, let's go. Let's go to pet. Where's it gone? Over here. Here. Well done. That's probably your best shot so far. I think it is. Wow. Well done. Let's go and try that again. I'm impressed. <laughs> well done. Keep firing until I get permanent. Yeah, you're getting the hang of it now. I'm getting there till I can shoot in the sky and land in the <laughs> hole at you. Everyone. Everyone be impressed with my shots. Oh my god, that was amazing. Oh my god, come on, we've got to go and look at that one. That lily landed like demons in the ground. Yeah, that was incredible. It was, it was staying up there twirling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't even know where it's gone, I can't see it. It was like a, oh I see it, it was like a dancing stick. <laughs> well done. I'm going to make a mark for where I did it. Yeah. Marked it. Oh, that lady went down the tin. I in the <laughs> Don't aim it for it, Steve. He landed it. How are you doing that? Okay, you can hold the camera while I go and get the one that you found the ditch. What the hell is going on? Someone landed that in the tree very well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where the other one went? One more. I don't know where that one went. I've gone further up here, I think. Oh, yeah, it did. Because that one went really high. Oh, my God, stay bad. Oh, I think we've lost one of our arrows, everyone. They did fly quite far. Okay, everyone, a big thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn notifications, give us a huge thumbs up. And make sure to comment down below who, who won, Stephen or me. <laughs> Tell us in the comments, I would love to know, because I bet he won. Uh, I think it might have been a joint win. I think we both did really well, actually. Yeah. Since I kept messing up, but I think I actually got quite good at it at the end. Plus we had to make the bow from scratch. So, yeah. no, it's been fun. Yeah. We've really enjoyed it. And we hope you did too. Right. So, until next time, stay safe, stay warm. And we'll see you all soon. See you all soon. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.